Why does it feel so cold inside my heart tonight? Be my man is what she said It's not just the wind that's moving around tonight But quick and clean don't we get right Righto, we're off on a road trip We're going to meet two mates of ours, Graham and Tom uh, This man here is driving the car It's bloody fine! This is the condition Oh my god it's a really bloody wet morning. We're heading further north. Uh, we're hoping this bloke in front of us is going to the same spot because we've been, <laughs> we've been following him for bloody half an hour. But we're, we're getting close to where we're going. Tom's got a spot that he's gonna uh, put us in, uh, in with, with him and Graham. So we'll have a team's event, have a bit of fun. And if anyone is taking you to a spot, there are a few things you've got to remember. Don't go back there straight away the next day and be there when they turn up. If they show you somewhere, you don't go back unless they're with you or they've said, yeah, you can go back any time you like. Don't get back there and hammer it and break shit out of it and have them turn it up and leave nothing for them. <laughs> and if you are lucky enough to find a little bit, the next time you see that bloke, if he's with you, go over, put your foot on the hole and say, Jesus, I found a bit right there. Yeah, and Mum, if these are the last words you see the way Ian's driving in this wet weather, <laughs> don't forget, even though I don't say that much, I love you, see ya! <laughs> right now, we've safely arrived, the sun's out. Three blokes, that you, two blokes you'll know, and one new man. We've got the sure thing, sorry, sure thing here, Tommy, Tom hey, Shaw. Hey, this is Jared in the middle. Jared's security, look at look at that. That's security. <laughs> look at him, here you go. <laughs> he's, he's the backup to Tom if we get any big gold. Graham, Mr. Reliable Graham. How you going? We've given, a, we've given all blokes nicknames this morning, so Mr. Fabulous, uh, <laughs> for the man with all the personality and the money. They wanted to call me Fossil, but I'm going to stick with Silver Fox. Silver Fox. <laughs> Righto, so we're in a good spot. The lads have found gold here. As I said, coming over in the car, if you're lucky enough for someone to take you somewhere where they've already found gold, Graham, what do we know? You You'll don't go there, again, and, yeah, yeah, but you don't go there and, and bloody by yourself, do you? You don't, no, no. You, you don't go there by yourself. You don't go there and hammer it. And be very thankful that someone has taken the time to show you the spot. If you get the chance, repay the favour. And if you're there and you find a little bit of gold, say to the bloke, I found a little bit of gold right there near that stump and that gives him a bit more opportunity and thanks him for giving you the chance. That's it. Righto yeah, boys, fun. I'm a bit worried about Ant and I, I don't know whether we can handle the Von Steiger brothers here if, <laughs> <laughs> if trouble starts. Graham might just swing the balance but yeah. he's already had one severe memory lapse already this yeah, morning. Yeah, so. yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Righto. Two thumbs up, start of the day. Yeah. We're always happy at the start of the day. That's it. When we're going home with no goal, when we had our asses kicked, <laughs> we'll have a bit of a wind up. Right now, boys, good yeah, luck to it. everyone. Good luck. Oh, it's a team's event too. Oh, event. You're team. detecting Jared, of yeah. course. Yep. One point for the first bit found. Two points for the most bits. Oh, God, we've got to remember this, Glenn. Two points for the biggest bit and one point for the last bit. So at the end of the day, if things are tight, we're just getting through the fence, you say, got another little bit, you might win the competition. Oh. So then it's Ant and I against the Von Steiger brothers and Graham. <laughs> <laughs> right now, into it, boys. Let's do it. Now, these belong to Jared. Jared got them the last time he was in here, and that's oh, why he was doing here. And he's got one, he got one here last week, and he's got a real good signal there. So first thing, Jared, you stick them back. I see that's a laxative bottle you've got there, it Jared. <laughs> Always... Sometimes this gives you the shit. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> if it doesn't, you need back, back up, mate. So Jared's got one in here. Real good gravel that he's in. Mm. Tell us what's, what's happened so far, mate. Very slight, near a tree. We've pulled the tree out. Um, it's still not as loud as it can be. Mm. So, but no yeah, doubt it'll get there, yeah. yeah. So you're calling a definite signal, right? Um, definite. Yeah. And it's not wobbling like um, a little red shot would. Well, you got a smile up, Tommy? No, you no, got a bit? No, no. Jared, Jared's going to go out to an early lose. What did I yeah. say? One point for the first bit. One point for the first bit. 
Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a big cash prize and, and holidays and everything if you win. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the glory, it's all about the glory. Jump up a little bit. Oh. Good though that it's getting into a little bit of depth as well. Mm. Know, it's down on that clay a little bit more. So what are you using now? 7,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah 7,000. Because of Graham. <laughs> Graham spend, spend me money. Yeah. That's easily done, isn't it? With um, spare parts. <laughs> yep. $1,300 there, Coyle. Yeah. Jesus. My car doesn't bloody cost <laughs> <laughs> I went to survey the other night and you know, there's about eight thousand. I was just about pulled in and the cops pulled in one, they were going to be right next to me and I run a few tyres and I ended up just. <laughs> so I went up the other end and when I went inside the survey, the bloke said, How come you got so far away from the cops? And I didn't want to bloody, uh, Draw have, have a yourself. temporary roadworthy on my car. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, feeling good, Jared. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. There's more clay in there. Yep. Oh. We might have one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on top of her now. Yeah. Extension, uh, the tension's starting to rise. Yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah. I carry a bottle of colossal. Yeah, that's right. Be prepared. Oh, right yeah. on the clay now. Yeah. Little monster already. Yep. This should have it out. We'll be close to this. Look at that. Yep. It is good. Well, I'm going down in the primus. I'm going to get down to warden this up. Straight road to something. Yeah. 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 So, what do you reckon the significance of this? Areas. It's just, it's just quartz gravel that's been laid down by the water, uh, and then it's been worked and surfaced and with puddles, has it? Like yeah, the, yeah, like they're high puddles. They're yeah. Built up on the embanks, and you can see where they've chucked all the rocks out and like inspected them. Yep. Them out. Yep. But this this clay wash and that. This is like, yeah, they've had a quick look out of their sluices. And yeah. So you're saying original ground here, or, or ground that's been worked? No, 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 no. no. it's just, um, there's a puddle, you see with the original ground that comes up there, that was the original one. Yep, yep. And that's a bit higher than the, I bet the same high as that road. Oh right, yep. Yeah. Now we threw the clay and back into some more rock. Mm. Jared was telling me how hard he works before and now he's puffing like an old man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there, Jared? <laughs> Oh, it's oh, it's the you can all idea. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it is a long one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. There it is. Ladies oh, no. and gentlemen, <laughs> that's, that's metal detecting. Yeah, that's yeah. metal detecting, all right. But we had a lot of fun, Jared. Yeah. Check that bloody hole. I yeah. will. Flag it. Say puff for that. Good work, Jared. Thank you. you got a good deep signal, and the, the only reason it wasn't gold was that it wasn't gold. So, uh... <laughs> Well, mate, that's one point off to you. <laughs> <laughs> Rightio, we've Jared's found the first bit, so he's away on one point. Now you might have to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Jared shows what you got. <laughs> now we're all poking fun at that, except Jared's the only bloke that found gold, so he <laughs> said you can go and get stuffed as far as he's concerned, and that's some good detecting. Well yes, done. Yes, very nice. Tommy's trying to. So, Petey, Tommy's got a signal here that we're going to film. So, Tommy, tell us the story, mate. So, we've just come along this bit of a, of a washout here. Uh, a lot of rubbish around. So, I have a nice little target. It's in the nice right stuff. Nice and round. Yeah, mm. it sounds good. It's in the right stuff, so I thought I'd. Give yeah, it a we're going to gonna Definitely. film this. Sorry. It's rubbish. Yeah. It's a good spot though because there's so much rubbish. You know, if there was no rubbish, there wouldn't be these sort of signals left, would there? You know, yeah. Oh, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Now, the local boys reckon this is the sort of ground that they get excited by. <laughs> this is it. <coughs> and higher out of our depth a little bit. Nice clay, there's a lot of gravel. If wrestling has taught me anything, the bad boy, bad guys usually 
leave early and then the good guys come over. <laughs> <laughs> so don't panic if you're at home watching and we get dashed by chairs. We'll come back. <laughs> As for Graham, I, I might have to count Graham out all together. Yeah. He's had a memory lapse this morning. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things about being out bush detecting with your mates is you get to hang shit on them and they don't care. Somewhere else when you were carrying on like this, they say, get going. Get going. <laughs> Seven thousand there, Tommy. You said seven thousand. Oh, that's a five. Oh, that's a five. Five with a nugget finder. You had a six thousand too, did you? I was borrowed, man. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I've got my own one too. I've got the same idea to borrow one. Yeah, they're good machines. You'll ant when they have one of our spots out. His mate Stefan. Yeah. And uh, they had a bit of a day out uh, last week with the six thousand. Ripper. The thing is, of course, it's got to be in a spot where you know there's gold. And they were in a concentrated area, you know, they'd already got gold out of there, so they had to walk up the dart. And they what how big was the area you were working at? Fifty metres by twenty or something was that? Wasn't About that, yeah, no, it wasn't a huge area. But we got eleven bits, so we were bloody happy. Yeah. Small little bits. The biggest one was probably point three. All up it was just over a gram, but we had a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. fun. All in conglomerate as well. I think there was only one free bit of gold and everything else was in con conglomerate, so we were smashing them up. It's good. Good job, Steph. Well, Tommy? He's getting there. <laughs> What's the feeling, Tommy? What's your gut feeling? Well, you need to stop driving trains. It's a real job. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I suppose it's dangerous. It'll get too big. Is it? If, yeah. if you get a real big signal here, is it likely to be gold or not likely to be gold? No, it's just junk. Yeah. Getting pretty deep now. It's changing again too. The soil. People at home, we're pleased to see you going for the pinpointer. <laughs> they give us a stick about not using the pinpointer. Not using the pinpointer and not using the scoop. And if I don't spend time in the makeup chair, they give me a stick about that as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, like say, oh, yeah, you do a good job for a 70 year old. 70 year old. So I'm only 65. Hey, fossil! <laughs> Come over here, Blake's got a real big bit. <laughs> Tommy needs back up to dig this hole. Stop, yeah. <laughs> Is that a hole up? How do you like, mate? Uh, a yeah, it's a good spot. I enjoy the spot. No, I do. I really enjoy the spot. I bloody... It's challenging. Yeah, but there's plenty of signals and there's plenty of likely ground. There's plenty to look at as well. Uh, uh, I come across one of Tommy's puddlers, and then a big, uh, like a big pile of rounded quartz. You know, they wash yeah, the wood yeah. inside, and that it's a, yeah. it's a good spot. It's very enjoyable. Yeah, it's frozen there, isn't it? Tell you what is here, where we are, Graham. I'll chuck yeah. this back to you. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Smoke over, back into it, change spots. Right out. Tommy's taking us to another spot. Uh, still the same team. Uh, Jared, Graham, myself, and Tommy. Jared's Tommy's got one that he found in yep. here not that long ago. Tommy, show Ant that one. one. That. So nice little bit of gold. Nice, oh, nice, nice, genuine nugget. Three, uh, what was three it? grams three on the dot, that one. Nice. Jared, Jared's got a few in here as well. So we're, we're in a, a likely area. 
Easy digging according to Graham. Graham said that the, the bloody gold's sitting up. He said in places he said it'll be sitting on a tree with a neon sign above it flashing gold. Is that that easy to get in here? Jared still holds the lead with his what we call Jared's lump. Uh, <laughs> uh, we can't smirk at him because he's the only bit that's the only bloody that's found a bit. So that's it. at the moment Jared's got the first bit, the last bit. The biggest bit <laughs> and the most bits. <laughs> right on. lead. Thumbs up, boys. Good Let's luck. Let's do it. Good luck, everyone. Right, that's it. Rightio, somebody's had a dig here. I don't know whether you, you won't be able to hear it, can you? What do you mean? No, Because this is yeah, an absolute no. screamer. You, you just tell us that. Yeah. I, and I got okay. something roughly in the hole, but just on the side is this tiny little bit of gold. Look at that. Beautiful. Good work, Graham. And they're telling me um, I might have taken the lead with that. Yeah, I'd say the full of nugget boots yeah. versus Jared Lump. <laughs> <laughs> but the first bit's always the hardest, isn't it? Yeah, bloody yeah, hard. It's always the hardest. It's here. I've got a pocket full of lead. It's sitting, sitting up yeah. in, the, in the sort of local, uh, local area too, you know. I've been yeah, yeah. skirting off the bits that are sitting up in the air. Uh, and you and I got a bit of work to do. We the do. We local boys have got two. Yeah. And uh, the chums got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Well, I don't think this thing will even wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Graham. Look, look. Well done, buddy. So hats off to Tommy. Tommy's got a two different <laughs> spot. <laughs> I think I'm looking at a centimetre now. So yeah. you got a beanie on. Victoria yeah, got a beanie. Yeah. You got. Oh no, you don't have a bit of gold. No, Damn, no. that's not going to work. I'll check it and we'll do it again. It all that, brings you luck, mate. That's it. You got a Victorian garden, Speedy. You got a bit of gold. Yeah. Now I got to get one. Tattoo. I'll go one better. I'll get, <laughs> I'll get it out there for tattoo. What do you got over there, Glenn? Oh, it's a stone Jared found. It sounds like a bit of a, a, bit of a target. Huh? I had, had a signal, but I, I think it's volcanic. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's gold bearing, but. I won't break it again. Nice. Put those two halves on and see if it makes any difference. Uh, Jared? The boys have brought us over to show us this puddle and it's a bloody cracker. Isn't it? What a ripper. They've, they've built the ground up, but because the ground was a bit soft and, and wouldn't hold its form as much as it might where there was clayey ground, they've used these bigger stones to make their outside wall. So because they've got the water in the centre of the puddle, as you know, a bit of pressure on the dirt. They didn't want it to spread. They wanted to hold their shape. So they've used this, made this stonework. So this is the outside of the puddler. This is the ground that came out of it. This is the centre. This is where they're actually using their sluice forks. They've got the water in here. They're lifting the stone out, letting the water out. As Jared pointed out, this is where the water went out. That's where they let the, let the water out. May have even trapped it again and used it again because in this sort of country water would have, been, would have been pretty precious. So a genuinely nice puddler. There's regulations on where how close you can detect to a puddler. We won't break those regulations. We'll move away until we turn the camera off and then we'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, one thumb up. And good man. Very nice. Good work. Because yeah. I, I broke that clump of grass down. It was, yeah, it was just screaming out at you, was it, Graham? Yeah, and it just sounds like buckshot. Oh, it's and look at that. In the sun. Look at that, look. Shining through. It's only little again, but it's gold. Yep, my number two for today, well done. Bloody beautiful, eh? Happy days. Hey, Dali. Yeah. Taking the lead today. Yeah. Hey. Most bits. Then I got a bit of catching up to do. Yeah. <laughs> Right there is where Grain found his first bit of gold. And literally what's that, two meters, and that's his second bit straight out of there. Beautiful. Nice work, mate, nice work. Starting to get the rattle up, eh? That's it. Jebedali. <laughs> Jebedali. All right, Tommy's just got himself a oh. bit of conglomerate. Got that nice bit there. Yep. See what it is. Hopefully it's in the right stuff. The signal Hopefully sounds all right. A little bit of gold. Just listen. Beautiful. Let's see if we can 
sun's out again. See it. Yep. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Leaf? Has he got the oh. No, I don't think so. It's only a little, but it's the right colour. Yep. Very oh. nice. There you go. Bigger than... There could be. Look at that on the other side. Well, it's it bigger than Jared's, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Way bigger than mine. No, they well. come out of it. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's in front. He's definitely in the lead oh, now. Yeah. There you we go. We might have to uh, get you on our team, Tom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, buddy. Ripper. Nice. Thumbs up, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. Wasn't it my machine found that? Yours? <laughs> no. I told you where to dig. Good job, mate. Well done. Thank you. Thumbs up. Good. Thumbs up. Yeah. Rightio. It's not the end of the day, but Graham's got to go, go home. So we call it the end of the day. It's about half past two. We've had a bit of an upset, but I'll talk you through these ones first. <laughs> That's Abdul the butcher's lump. That... <laughs> That's Jared's lump. Now he gets a point for first bit. So keep that in mind. One point to Jared, first bit. This, did Tommy, you get the second bit, mate? No, Graham. Oh, Graham got the second bit. And if you're wondering where it is, Graham got the second bit and the third bit, which is also the biggest bit. Get your pen out, you'll need it. So Graham was sitting on two bits. Tommy found the big, best bit for the day. Graham was putting that in his canister. Tommy left his canister. And Graham dropped the first bit he found. <laughs> he, he's taken it well, but there's an area up there, if you ever come in here, that's been cleared of all growth for about 100 metres around. <laughs> <laughs> they reckon the Grand Canyon was dug when it, an Australian dropped five cents down a gopher hole. So, <laughs> so very... Very similar to that for Graham today. Right now, see this is the this is the point score. Ah, oh, and the good guys, how much did you get, Ant? Nothing. Nothing. And what do, what grand, remind me what remind me what I found again? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so we found nothing. We've ran last and second last. Ant's got something or other. Ant's got two relics. That two one's relics. not too bad, yeah. mate. Yeah, not sure. Let's have a pin across the back it. So Ant's run second last, I've run a clear last. Jared weighs in third from the top. So one point to Jared. Tommy uh, gets two points because he got biggest. the biggest bit. So Tommy's the leader. Our, our mate would have got uh, two points for having the most bits, but I'm going to penalise him for losing a bit. <laughs> I have to. I, you can challenge me in court. And Tommy also got the last bit too. And Tommy got the last bit, so that gives you three points. So congratulations to Tommy. Well done, Tommy. I'll give it a loud clap of hands for these. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a sad day when you're holding three bits of gold in your hand and you've got to keep it slightly cupped so the wind doesn't blow them out. <laughs> that's all the stuff that's not gold. Yeah, I've got, got a thing for it. That actually it looks like a bit. Though. It does, yeah. Yeah. That's a fence staple, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. Grab your bit, Graham, uh, please. Oh. Yeah, I know, mate. I'm gonna, uh, get my rubbish out. You know, they pull the lead in the mould, and then the, whether it's split, you know, when it come out of the mould, like when they shut the mould on it, you know, it might have been supposed to be. Oh, like a round ball. A round ball, and yeah. then it's broken. Uh, it's when, yeah. Or yeah. Well, it wasn't if I, I didn't dig any signals. I got that. And that's a good effort. And there's there's mine. I already had an empty out. Jared, Jared. <laughs> Second your pants one. Are your pants yeah. are falling down. Yeah. I've, I've moved a bit, yeah. bit to What's a higher place as well. What do you got, Tommy? No, no, no that was mine. I've got a pocket full of stuff too. Yeah. No, right, no. Now, before you turn the camera off, we're going to go back to the to the spot that we started at. Good on you, Graham. Cheers, Graham. Well done. Next time. Yeah, yeah, next time. Great. A lot of fun. We had a lot of we've had a lot of fun. We haven't finished yet, and. Oh, yeah. uh, go up to the other spot. It was not as warm as you might think it is just looking at watching me on camera. Yeah, bloody <laughs> Right out, thumbs up. Onwards.